For years, I've been running a one-man campaign trying to stop people buying 3 Series BMWs. It's not been terribly successful. I want to talk to you people about an evil which has come to our country. Not since the plague of 1665 has the nation been threatened by something as ghastly as this. We can't trust them. We've had... After many long and lonely hours at Speaker's Corner, I started picketing showrooms. Follow the crowd. Don't be a sheep. Use your imagination. God gave you imagination. Use I'd harangue passers-by with my leaflets. But they didn't want to know. I'm saving these people, their souls. And now I'm going to give up, because there's a new, improved 3 Series BMW. Brilliant. It looks frighteningly similar to the old one, apart from its fancy headlights. But it's a little bit taller, a little bit longer, and a little bit wider. Inside, there's a little more space, and a little more equipment. The dash is improved too, a little, and now comes with a slab of metal, like you get in a Fiat Coupe. Hardly surprising, as both cars were designed by the same man. In the fullness of time, there'll be convertibles, estates and a coupe, but for now, it's the toys on this saloon that are making all the waves. And a new entry on the 1998 options list is a puncture detection kit. Which seems like a complete waste of money. I don't need a light on the dashboard to tell me when I've got a flat tyre. I know when I've got a flat tyre because the steering wheel starts to vibrate violently and the car swerves all over the road. If you must spend money on a bunch of electrons, you're better off going for the 8 airbag pack or, if you don't want to crash in the first place, DSC, a traction control device with a difference. It works. Every traction control system I've ever found has been either useless or a nuisance. But this one is just amazing. Imagine having four brake pedals, one for each wheel, and then a computer to operate them. So basically, I turn in hard like that, I can feel that front offside wheel losing grip, I can feel the brake going on. That's incredible. Right, next hairpin. Front near side there it is braking away, now I'm powering out, and then the brakes are put on the back wheels. That makes it very, very safe. Well, safer than that, anyway. Of course, if you want to get the tail out, you can always turn the system off. Fun. But if you're going to give this car a serious caning on these wonderful Dutch roads, you just turn that DSC system back on and you won't even hear the tyres squeal. Amazing. But of course the big strength in this car is its 2.8 litre engine. It now develops 193 brake horsepower which equates to 150 miles an hour and 0 to 60 in 7 seconds. That's quick but it's the smoothness that impresses most. Imagine bathing in extra virgin olive oil and then slipping between a, a pair of satin sheets with Roger Moore. That's how smooth the engine is. So, do I have any complaints at all? Well, a poor throttle linkage means it's jerky in traffic. And to be honest, the whole car has gone a bit soft. The steering has lost, woo, some of its crispness, but apart from that, I have to say this. I don't like saying this, but I've got to say it. This is an awfully good car. When this car is launched in September, it'll cost £26,000, which is actually pretty good value for money. I think that as a result of the sloppy steering, the V6-powered Alfa Romeo 156 provides a slightly more exciting ride. But overall, 
I know of no car in this class which is quite so complete, quite so well-rounded. The trouble is, most people aren't going to buy a 328. They're going to save themselves seven and a half thousand pounds and they're going to get a 318. They look pretty much identical. If you take the badge off this thing, no one will ever know. We will, though. You see, a 318 has one exhaust, while a 328 has two. Bit of a giveaway. We'll know that you're driving a chicken korma. A car that's lead-free, alcohol-free, it's meat-free beef, it's a BMW, with all the goodness taken out. Its 1.8-litre engine only has two valves per cylinder. And while this new model develops an amazing three-brake horsepower more than the old one, it can still be out-dragged by a Toyota Corolla. The 328 is a proper BMW, but this is just a jumped-up Cortina. It bumbles about, beating its chest, making Tarzan noises. But it's wearing baggy Y-fronts. Sure, it has six airbags instead of one, an alarm as standard, and compared to the old model, it's 30% easier to mend. But this is supposed to be a BMW, a driving machine, not a fridge freezer. A BMW without a big engine is like a Phantom F4, a jet fighter without a gun. I've driven more exciting golf carts. Sure, at £19,000, you get a lot of badge for your money here. But if you want a lot of car instead, watch next week when I shall test all the 318's rivals. The winner is a big surprise.